All right, hi guys, welcome back to another video with uh, Mytho Hippo here. So today, uh, this is the second video I'm recording today, probably the first one that's going to get uploaded because I like to do fun things. Um, anyway, we are making a uh, key hook thing. So uh, when I'm done with this, there's, I'm going to put hooks on it and then obviously hang my keys on it and stuff like that so what I'm the colors I'm using here uh, I've got an orange made with this Craftsmart orange and the neon pink flow artist loft flow acrylic um, I've got artist loft flow acrylic black white and blue, blue and green. Sorry, I forgot about that one. Uh, I've got Artisloff turquoise, and I've got Craftsmart purple. So I'm gonna do eh, probably three cups on this. I'm using the three ounce cups and I painted a base layer on this of just plain um, black, the Decolette Americana. If you're going to pour on something like wood or something that doesn't have gesso already on it, which is the white layer that's already on the canvases that I use, um, you want to prep your paint space so that the paint sticks to it nicely and evenly. So that's what I did there. All right. Sorry, one second. I'm fixing my apron real fast. All right, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to try to pour these as evenly as possible. I'm going to start with a little bit of black in the bottom of each. And the only reason I'm using black is because it's the background or base color I have here. So this needs a little bit of water in it before I pour it out. One minute. All right. So then we're gonna go in with some orange. Hit it with some purple next. And then some blue. green. Try not to knock them over while I fill them. That would be swell. All right, now some turquoise. And then a little bit of white. All right, so that's good. So I'm gonna flip cut these. I'm going to let them sit for a moment. Get all that paint down to the bottom. Alright. 
and then I'm gonna do two more videos after this so today um, yeah so we're gonna be doing a uh, Valentine's Day pour next I believe and then after that I'm gonna do I got a couple new colors that I want to try out so we're gonna do a painting with those all right so I'm gonna start with this one torch this and I just mixed that orange so there's definitely gonna be cells that pop up because there's air bubbles with that one which I'm okay with all right let's tilt this a little bit and when you pour on wood you want to get a lot of the paint off of it. Uh, you leave too much on it, it kind of warps a little bit, which is no fun. So let's go this way. like that. I actually like that quite a lot. It's different. No one else can say that they're going to have the same key holder I do. But that's always my goal. <laughs> going to torch this in one more time. Make sure I get all those air bubbles up. So we're going to set this aside, let this dry. Once it's dry, I'm going to put a vinyl over top of it um, based off of how this looks. It's probably going to be a white vinyl, but we will see. All right. Okay, so that was uh, this video. Don't forget to like it if you enjoyed this. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up to date on new videos that come and all that. And uh, we'll see you in a few for the next one. Thanks.